Welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. And today I have a German whiskey here in my cask. It's called Gilors. And uh, Gilors is a Gallic word, means golden water. Right, it looks golden and bright. Um, this whiskey is from a small town lying between Frankfurt and Wiesbaden, which is the capital of Hessen. It's called in German, no idea, Hess, Hessia. Yeah. <laughs> no idea how it's pronounced or uh, talked in, uh, spoken in English. Yeah, and this Gilors is a peated whiskey, 42% ABV, half a liter bottle as always in modern times here in Germany, priced in the mid 50s, so quite expensive for a small bottle. Uh, three years old, vintage 2012, bottled in 2016. One of the, well, the many new whiskey or malt whiskey distilleries uh, in Germany, which have quite a history, and this dates back to 1970, uh, so 47 years old now. And uh, they have quite a range uh, with different casks. Uh, starting with a sherry cask, portwood, oloroso finish, and a peated one. And, uh, well, they tell that this whiskey shows a distinct phenolic note, some minerals and black bread, white pepper, and freshly cut lawn. And then late aromas of sugar and caramel. Yeah. Um, so, not much to say about uh, the, the surrounding. It's a, a, a wonderful small label showing really the whiskey and it's uh, uh, separated so you can see the, the golden uh, line in between. And it's one of 358 bottles and distilled in November 2012 and bottled in January 2016, so older than a year now in the bottle and 42% ABV, uncolored, yeah, and comes from a bourbon cask. So, decent color, un uncolored, and the cork is very tight in it, and it's from plastic, and you already smell the smoke in it. <clears throat> so this is peated barley, from Scotland, which they imported for the production. And incredible smoky. And this fennel ridge hospital disinfection. You can't smell anything else, just this weird taste. So I'm not a fan of these extremely smoky whiskies. I like the uh, aromatic, complex. No, this is just straight on. Can't imagine that they got that extremely peated malt from Scotland. You, you don't find that in, in the Freud either. I need some time to, to smell something behind and it's so so uncomfortable for me. Ah, extremely. No, it's stinky. <laughs> yeah. little sweetness in between and then ah, the smoke again this phenolic blah this is intense uh, you know me so I have no problems with the whiskies from Isla South Coast they are <laughs> just weak <laughs> comfortable but this one is such a such a rush guy wow yeah no Ooh. That's extreme. 
So probably after 10, 15, 20 years, when the phenolic taste converts into more complex aromatic compounds, then, probably then, this would whiskey would be uh, for my mother's son. But today, no, far too extreme, far too phenolic. Ah, yeah, probably something for you, if you like it that way. Uh, if you can't have a whiskey phenolic enough, ah, it still stays in my mouth. I have to drink half a liter of water to get rid of it. Yeah. Ah. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned as always. And feel free to share this video with your friends. Don't do that. Yeah. <laughs>